From the distance, planet Earth looks like a beautiful blue pearl in the vast, limitless and inhabited space. But what do we see when we look closer and fly over the surface of the Earth? Do we see a healthy environment of love, peace, wellness and abundance for humans and nature? Or do we see a society of ego, hate, competition, violence, military and pollution that is slowly destroying itself? A small number of people on this planet know how it feels like to be in harmony with other people, animals and nature by using the energy of the heart. Wouldn't it be nice if everybody on planet Earth would have cosmic love in the heart and experience bliss and abundance? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a society with no competition thinking, no TV manipulation, no wastefulness of natural resources, no smoking, no diseases, no extreme consumption? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a peaceful, united and loving society, without borders of aggression, without hate, ego, weapons, military and pride, without stress, drugs, depression, sadness, diseases, poetry or fears? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a society without uncivilized, senseless, blunt behavior, without jealousy, lies, bullying, slandering or physical abuse, without slave trade, without rape cases, without insanity, without dogmatic belief systems, cults and political greed for power and control? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a healthy society with healthy organic food, without contaminated and poisoned air, land and water, without industrial corruption and genetic manipulation of food, without nuclear plants, nuclear tests, electric smog, pollution and disasters. Wouldn't it be nice if we would live in a wise society where technology is not misused for control, weapons, military and slavery and not misused for banks or sport, business, competition, ego arenas? Wouldn't it be nice if we would live in a society where technology like computers and internet is not misused for spying, bullying, mobbing, stalking, threats, insults and lies? and it's not used for defamation, harassment, coercion, calumny and character assassination of others out of hate, ego, arrogance, control obsession and jealousy. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a social society without governments and military, without fanatic belief systems, without corrupt industry and manipulation media, who all want to create a society of robots who have to obey to a few power-greedy people? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a society without secret societies and religious cults who are creating wars since thousands of years? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a social, spiritual society where medicine is natural and free for everybody and it's not misused for business in the pharma industry that want to keep people sick in order to sell their chemical drugs? Wouldn't it be nice if you would live in a society where animals are not slaughtered for business and unhealthy meat consumption and are not put in animal prisons for the amusement of tourists. When we look at all these facts on Earth, can we speak of a free, peaceful and intelligent planetary society? When we see all these negative energies on Earth, can we expect that Earth humans will create a positive future on Earth? Or will they create again wars and suffering like in the past? Did Earth humans learn anything from past wars and suffering? Are they working on creating global peace? Or are they financing wars? Can we create a philanthropic, humane society on Earth and prevent wars? The word philanthropic derives from the Greek language and means human-friendly. Can we heal a society that has fallen from the healthy track of cosmic love, intelligence, compassion, healthiness and peace 
a society who assesses a person solely on his job and the place where he lives. Those who are not influenced by hate or ego know that it is possible if everybody on earth would use a consciousness of universal love to everybody and everything. Without a consciousness of love, there is always wars, suffering and degeneration. Everybody has the power, the responsibility and own unique possibilities to create positive things in life with cosmic love, to keep the consciousness and body healthy in order to create a social, civilized society of love, respect, peace and development. This is possible by using cosmic energy in the heart and healing old negative mind programs, old superstitions, negative behavior patterns and negative belief systems and activate higher spiritual knowledge. In this movie we will look at suggestions, possibilities and examples to heal the self and the society. Higher spiritual knowledge is a fundamental part of the cosmic awareness and has nothing to do with fiction, religions, something mystical, new age or any secret. There is nothing new and there is no secret that has to be found. Higher spiritual knowledge is always accessible for everybody with real cosmic love in the heart. In a healthy energetic environment it is much easier to develop a consciousness of cosmic love and be ready for contacts with benevolent and much more superior and wise visitors from other star systems or other dimensions. I know this from my personal experiences with the cosmic awareness and benevolent humans and light beings from other planets and dimensions that I had many times and especially 1995 when I had a very close contact with light beings and my higher self. The cosmic love and awareness that one can feel in such a contact is beyond any feeling of love that is known on earth. I wish that everybody would experience the love of the cosmic awareness, the love of the source of everything in the existence. That would create very fast a society of love, peace and freedom. One of my recent contacts was in October 2013 where I could record an interdimensional light ship of my star family for hours. Those ships are not physical, they are made out of thought and cosmic light energy. That means they can appear in any form they want and anywhere they want in any timeline. This advanced form of higher spiritual travel technology is only possible for higher dimensional spiritual cosmic humans who are in tune with the source and cosmic love. Those who had experiences with them have experienced extreme love and have true understanding and knowledge about how life is functioning. There are humans in every dimension over the physical dimension. They have spacecrafts in every form from physical to pure energy and I have pictures and videos of any of those forms. At the same day I recorded a ship next to an airplane. They are flying like this, especially for my recording. This recording was also at the same day in October 2013 and you can see a ship hovering without movement at one point in the sky. This is also done by using the natural cosmic energy that is freely available in the universe. In this video that I took in August 2013 you can see a ship appearing for the recording close to a helicopter, approaching in a high speed, making a looping and then flying upwards. It is much clearer in slow motion. They fly in these movements especially for my recording so anybody can see that it's not an airplane. They can fly in any speed they want and in any direction because they create an own atmosphere and natural cosmic energy shield around the ship. That means that inside the ship you don't feel any movement. At my lightworks they are always present but not always visible to everybody. These are pictures that I took in my lightwork on Bimini 2011. This picture with a ship over me was made in a crop circle 2010. 
On this pictures you can see a huge long mothership. My Pleiadian star family is always around me, as you can see here in September 2013 in one of my trips. In the universe that we are now, many developed humans and other species in the universe are traveling since billions of years as astronauts, the spaceships, or as a light being, and are visiting and exploring the existence. It is because of those space travelers why planet Earth is inhabited by humans and different forms of animals and plants. They shaped, since millions of years, the history of this planet. They would have open contacts on Earth if Earth humans would let go of any form of negativity and hate and become friendly. Many people on Earth think that out of the infinite numbers of planets in the universes and dimensions, only on this small planet is life. This is like believing that Earth is flat. They believe this out of five reasons. Reason number one, they have no knowledge that life is on many dimensions and not only on the physical low vibration. On higher dimensions you can find higher developed civilizations who are living in a higher frequency and therefore are not visible to people in the physical dimension. But they can make themselves visible if they want. Reason number two, they have no personal experience with humans from other planets and dimensions and therefore they don't know. Reason number three, they are influenced from TV, movies, governments and dogmatic belief systems to believe that there is nothing in space and that they have to obey the punishment of an invented god who was invented by rulers to keep the control alive. Reason number four, people with ego and jealousy don't want to see the fact that there are more advanced beings in the universe because they feel inferior. Reason number five, there is too much false information and videos in the internet and it is difficult for an average, inexperienced earth human to distinguish the genuine and true information from the misinformation. Even on some pages who present themselves spiritual, one can see a lot of ego, arrogance and competition. So it is necessary to have personal experiences with the light and galactic beings. In order to have personal experiences, one has to investigate the information with a loving spiritual heart, with no ego, arrogance or hate. This will create the right frequency to develop the consciousness and attract higher developed beings, and eventually the knowledge and understanding and the ability to distinguish true from false information. So we see that there are many psychological and energetic blockages on Earth that are blocking most of Earth humans to have experiences with the light and have knowledge and understanding of the existence. Man-made belief systems, dogmas, hate, ego, arrogance, superstition, cults, fear and control are blocking a human to get in conscious touch with the energy of light and are blocking the mind to have love, compassion and respect for everybody. If everybody had a consciousness of love, the society on earth would slowly become a healthy society of freedom, respect, sympathy, abundance and spirituality, and humans would live in a human-friendly environment. To be spiritual means to be loving, compassionate, honest, helpful to everything in life, and to be free from man-made doctrines, belief systems, cults, superstitions, ego, hate and wars. To be spiritual means to be in tune with the energy of the cosmic awareness, the energy that earth humans are calling God. The cosmic awareness can be felt in an environment of deep, unconditional love. One good way to activate a powerful love in the heart is by stroking a cat. That creates cosmic love and blessing in an instant, because there is no connection to belief systems or ego. The cosmic awareness is pure energy of love that creates the highest feeling of bliss in the heart and everybody that had the same experience like me can confirm this. By getting in touch with deep universal love in the heart, one understands that the cosmic awareness is the cosmic energy from which everything in the cosmos exists and it's free from any human-made dogmatic belief system. The energy that Earth humans call God is an universal cosmic energy of awareness. It is not an old man with a beard and negative characteristics like revenge, reward or punishment. We are all children or particles of the cosmic awareness. Many spiritual teachers like Jesus were telling this too. But unfortunately people misunderstood them and started to worship them and distort their words. 
The cosmic awareness that created all universes and dimensions is not supporting and it's not blessing wars, military or cult leaders who call themselves holy. And it's not blessing political ego campaigns or sport ego competition events. Those who have experienced the bliss of the light and universal cosmic love in the heart are not able to feel ego, arrogance or hate. Those enlightened people don't ask anyone to believe anything. They simply share their knowledge and leave it to the people to realize it for themselves, in personal experiences. The energy called God is the unlimited energy that can be found in the heart, in the compassion and love for everything. The universal cosmic energy of the cosmic awareness is present in every particle and every atom in life. Every plant, every living being, even air is filled with the energy of the cosmic awareness. It depends on each individual how we interact with this divine energy. The best way to use this divine energy is by using universal love in the heart. This can transform the personal and global life. It can create an awareness of cosmic love globally and therefore it can create an intelligent, peaceful society. This is what spiritual teachers like Jesus, Buddha and thousands of others are saying, but unfortunately they are misunderstood. Cosmic love is the essence of universal friendliness, respect, honesty and compassion and cannot be activated with an arrogant or fanatic know-it-all behavior of the rational ego mind. Cosmic love is not be misunderstood with the limited brain love of relationships on earth, where ego and possession can be found in most cases. From my personal experience, I know that cosmic love is a much more powerful energy that can be felt and activated only in the heart energy point. And once this love energy is in the heart, a person is changed forever. The higher energy of cosmic love is activating a higher consciousness and a personality without ego, jealousy, arrogance or hate. All your actions and thoughts are based on universal love and it can be felt when you talk. Even science on earth knows that emotional and psychological blockades are causing unpleasant situations. But when we heal them, we can create a society of real universal love joy, abundance, understanding and justice. The word psychological or psyche derived from the Greek word psyche, which means soul. The word psychology means the talk of the soul. Very often blockades and negative mind patterns are stored in the soul and are carried in each life if you don't listen to the talk of the soul in order to heal them. Many people on earth have lost the conscious contact with the light and are programming themselves unconsciously with negative, limiting mind patterns, superstitions or negative talking for many years or many lives, and are blocking themselves to live in tune with cosmic love. Can we expect to see a society of love on earth as long as humans are celebrating and worshipping demonic entities and evil actions on a day they call Halloween, which means thinking of hell? Many people on planet Earth have been conditioned by mainstream media, like movies, to believe that being rude and negative is something normal, and that being loving is something they have to attack and insult. In that cases, the conscious connection to the heart and the source is blocked, and the people are controlled by the rational thinking of ego, arrogance, jealousies and negative entities. And that is a striking sign of a society which slowly destroys itself, simply because the consciousness of love and compassion is missing. Can we expect to see a society of real love on earth when we see hypocritical behavior at the end of each year on a business period called Christmas where people pretend to be nice because it says in the calendar but at the rest of the year they act with ego, arrogance and hate in their daily lives? A real loving spiritual person is giving love every day in his life and not only on a specific day just because TV, media, business and belief systems are programming this thinking. A real loving spiritual person is not supporting the festival of hypocrisy and consumption and sanity where thousands of trees are killed just to be decorated in a room and later thrown away. Instead of spending money for that people could give it to homeless people for food. A real loving spiritual person is giving a gift 
out of real love in the heart at any time of the year, and not because it says in a calendar in order to please the ego and the consumption society. Can we expect to see a society of real cosmic love and spirituality on earth when humans are misusing the spiritual teacher Jesus as an advertising figure for Christmas consumption, belief systems, wars, sport events and hypocrisy? Can we expect to see a society of real cosmic love and spirituality on earth when humans are literally burning millions of money for fireworks to place shooting and bombing instead of spending the wealth to help starving humans and restoring the nature worldwide? Can we expect to see a real loving society on earth without cosmic love in the heart of the inhabitants? A society without cosmic love is a dehumanized society that uses all the wealth for weapons, politics, belief systems, sports stadiums, smoking or fireworks, while millions are starving in slums, trash and poetry. A healthy society is a civilized society that is acting based on the energies of cosmic love, where all wealth and abundance of life is used for spiritual purposes and shared equally with everybody. A healthy society is a society where nature is treated with respect. On a developed loving society, nobody is starving, nobody is suffering of anything, and there is a natural contact to other star civilizations. The cosmic awareness gives every earth human many opportunities to use cosmic love and be in tune with the higher vibrations of the planet. The question is, is everybody using these opportunities? In order to be in tune with the cosmic awareness, it is important to visit often natural places with powerful cosmic energy, to clean the aura and our energy bodies from negative energies and feel the love energy in the heart. In a healthy energetic environment, it is much easier to work energetically on inner blockades, to let go of negative feelings or negative thoughts like fears, sadness, inferiority, stress or ego, and manifest happiness and abundance. For that reason, I do group journeys to energetic vortex places since 13 years, where everybody has the opportunity to feel cosmic love in order to heal personal emotional blockades and send love energy to everybody on this planet. These lightworks are happening both in the awake state with the physical body and in a higher dimension in the astral body while the physical body is sleeping at night. In August 2013, we visited energy places in Greece. We went to Delphi, to Amphiarion of Oropus, and to Delos to get healing energy and send it to the planet. All these places were used even 2500 years ago as places of wellness, healing, and getting in touch with higher cosmic energies. We also went to the Acropolis of Athens to heal energies of old wars and negative energies of modern times. Because everything is connected with energy, these lightworks are helping everybody on this planet who is open for light and love. Our first destination was the island Delos, close to Mykonos. Delos is a good example of what can happen if wars, jealousy, ego and greed for power leads to destruction. It is the same pattern that destroyed Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean 12,000 years ago. And this could happen in a large scale on Earth too, if Earth humanity uses wars, hate and other negative energies instead of cosmic love. Hate creates always self-destruction and love creates peace and prosperity. 3,500 years ago, Delos was the most famous sacred place in Greece 
and over 30,000 people from Greece and other places were living here in wealth and peace. Thousands of people from all over the world were visiting dealers because it was associated with spiritual awakening, healing energy and the extraterrestrial Apollo, the messenger of music and light. And they donated many temples and sanctuaries as a gift. The most powerful point was marked with a temple dedicated to Apollo, where people could receive cosmic energy. The prosperity and the spiritual power of Delos caused many jealousies and attacks from different neighboring islands and other countries, and it was taken over by force many times. This caused the death of over 20,000 people and destroyed most temples and buildings. When we were at Delos Island, I felt my heart was heavy. Um, when we entered the house of Hermes, uh, I felt something stop me enter the room. And uh, you guide me to create a love energy, and I and went inside the room, and I felt the anger and sadness of the soul stored in the room. And uh, we sent light to the soul, and. Finally, the soul were guided to the light, and uh, I heard they replied me, thank you. And after that, we sat outside uh, the places in the middle of the house, and we did a meditation. We created a pink light ball and sent to the whole island. And I saw light shines on the trapped soul. My trip start was uh, in Delos, and I saw myself and uh, my past, my past life. But one of my, one of my past life was uh, uh, maybe one of the worshippers, and I saw myself in a different form, uh, wear different kind of clothes, walking, just walking around the temple. Our next destination was the healing place at Delphi. The word Delphi derives from the Greek word Delphini, which means dolphin. Dolphins are associated with the star system Sirius. This place was called Delphi because it has a strong Syrian energy. Delphi was built here at the slope of the mountain Parnassos to utilize the vortex energy of the mountain. And then the next day we begin to go to Delphi. And when I was in the, in, on the bus, I, I begin to feel that uh, healing energy is working on me. Before we visited the ancient ruins, we went to a hill over Delphi to meditate and receive energy of the mountain. In this night and the following nights, we saw many spaceships from my star family flying by. And in the evening, we walked up the hill and uh, found a space um, to spy sky watch and see if there were, um, well, to see if there was any spaceships. Basically, we did a, made a meditation and, uh, and created a, a loving heart space energy within our group. We created a love light ball and what has expanded to the whole planet and everyone are happy and they have what they want. They have enough food and, and leaders are open to their heart and I saw a big heart of is covering the earth and it shines so bright like a huge star. And when you perform personal healing, I felt uh, a strong energy uh, uh, going in and out of my body and I just like a bad energy is pulling out and new energy comes in. And uh, before you know it we saw lights on the sky that for sure are not 
airplanes, and um, and I found I found it absolutely amazing how um, there's so many people committed to um, personal growth to help themselves, and by helping yourself, you help the entire existence, the planet, to grow also. And um, so for me, it was a pretty strong message that night that um, it's nice to do work and light work on my own, but it's so much more powerful when I do this work with a lot of people who are committed to their spiritual growth. And that way there's so many more people that we can absolutely touch on a deep level and, and realize for them what it is that they really truly want to do in their lives and which for me made even more clear that I am um, determined to continue on this path and help other people to realize that they're not so alone on this trip as a spiritual being. The new experience for me was the first time we went to the mountain to meditate. I felt that at any time I could have left my body and had an experience like that, um, which was new. That never happened to me. The energy was so high. My energy was just so high. It just, it was amazing. And then the synchronicity of those two ships, those huge ships, just like, choo, choo, right after that, it was, it was really, really good. And then that night we went for a sky watch. We saw many, many spaceships. And one of the spaceships was really have that strong energy that sent to me. And it makes me feel so happy and I feel a lot of love. And uh, we sleep very late, but I had a lot of energy from, from the cosmic energy. 2,700 years ago, a large temple complex was built here to utilize the vortex energy of the mountain and to honor the extraterrestrial Apollo, the messenger of music and light. It was a place of healing and learning, where many philosophers were teaching their wisdom. This energy is still there, and it can help the own development if visitors are in the vibration of cosmic love. Delphi became internationally known in ancient times for the oracular powers of many channeling women in the Temple of Apollo. These women were called Pythia and were selected every few years. A Pythia entered the inner chamber of the temple, sat on a tripod and inhaled the sweet perfume from ethylene gases and burnt incense that came out of an opening on the floor and started to channel messages from other dimensions. Under the floor of the temple there are many small tunnels and chambers and we were able to crawl inside. Some of the tunnels are destroyed by earthquakes and some were sealed on purpose with a cut stone block like in a pyramid. This, this was an opening and you see you, you can stick the some iron sticks inside there and move the stone. This is clearly a, a, a door that is sealed. Look at this. See the corner? Some steps lead to a wall, but in ancient times they were leading to underground rooms. The energy under the temple is uplifting and powerful, and it's able to open dimension gates. Because of this, we could even smell a sweet incense fragments. We could clearly feel the cosmic energy and everybody had feelings of healing and cleansing of the heart and some had visions. When we were in, in the temple of Apollo, <laughs> I guess I've seen an inter interdimensional gate without even, well, we figured it out later. I'm like, no, no, the gate's there. You know, everybody can't, you see the door, but I guess it was only me that could see the door. I guess it was a interdimensional gate and that's amazing for me. When I went to Apollo Temple, I had a question for myself. So when I was just outside the temple, uh, everybody was talking about the oracle in the, that are sitting in the middle of the temple. 
and I asked the oracle about my personal questions. And then we walk to the other side of the temple. I saw a cave, a small cave. So um, I hear a voice tell me to go inside the temple, so I did. And I sat there just by myself, did a meditation, and when I come out, I, I couldn't. <laughs> when I came out, I feel um, very strong energy that are I don't know, I never feel so much love like that in my life. And, uh, yeah, I came out, I had a lot of relief, and I feel like I have uh, relieved some of my, uh, maybe some karmas. When uh, he was in the temple of Apollo, uh, when I was meditating, I felt uh, uh, a strong energy and uh, I felt that my, my, uh, my hand was vib vibrating a little bit. In my experience, uh, there is strong energy power in uh, the temple of Apollo in ancient Delphi and also at the cave. Personally, what I felt that I was shown uh, some blockage of mine. There's a, a man carrying something and then it handed it to me and I was, uh, I must put it uh, into the core of the earth or into the ground. There are several of them, uh, four I experienced in the temple of Apollo and then four again at the cave. That was uh, very releasing for me. And then I, uh, I keep walking after the Apollo temple. When we go to, I was sitting by a tree with uh, another light worker and she gave me a, a message and it was the answer that I was, I need. So, yeah, it was, yeah, it was really touching, and, oh sorry, <laughs> it was really touching and yeah, it was really going really well for me for the whole healing trip. During the trip to Delphi, I, I already felt that there was an energy vortex cleansing my soul chakra and uh, you said the existence is keep giving me opportunity to express myself and it's already the fifth day I feel the energy and it's still working on the full chakra. Wisdom was always present at ancient Delphi for 300 years until the Romans came to plunder and impose their religion by force. In the 300 peaceful years of Delphi, knowledge and philosophy used to guide every aspect of life of every single visitor. The word philosophy is a Greek word and means friend of wisdom. Philos means friend and Sophia means wisdom. In Delphi they had 147 simple advices that have been created by seven wise philosophers of those ancient times. They were carved on the stone walls in front of the entrance of the Apollo Temple to guide the visitor to a spiritual and moral behavior, to the road of virtue and respect. Most of these advices could help to create a friendly, civilized society even today. Let's take a look at the most important Delphic advices. Be committed for justice and all good. Tell the right and the truth. Control anger, remain calm. Long for wisdom, look for wisdom. Do not blame others wrongly. Do not downgrade or look down upon anyone. Do not be insolent. 
Develop your consciousness. Exercise gentleness and kindness. Stay away from evil. Don't kill anybody or anything. Use your time usefully. Judge with divine thinking. Don't be jealous. Stay away from slanderer. Honor good and polite people. Give love to everything. Wish happiness for everybody. Stay away from anger and disputes. Respect other people's time. Be grateful and thankful. Use your skills and talents. Don't be arrogant. Don't misuse power. Help the ones who are less fortunate. Look for balance and harmony. Never stop to learn. Respect the elder. Respect yourself. Know yourself. These advices are still up to date and if earth humans would use them, life on earth would be pleasant for everybody and the transformation into a higher dimension would be smoother. The next day we went to the ancient Corician cave over Delphi. 2500 years ago the Corician cave was visited by many people to get in touch with the energy of the mountain and receive messages from the extraterrestrial Apollo and the Muses. The Muses are spiritual beings who are living in higher dimensions similar to angels and give seekers wisdom, inspiration and light. In the higher dimensions time is not running like on earth and many light beings, known in ancient times, can still be contacted with the energy of cosmic love in the heart. There are many light beings in higher dimensions who are helping lower dimensions. This is done as a service to others. It is the cosmic principle of compassionate love. The muses at Delphi are using the energy of the mountain and the cave to get in touch with the lower earth dimension and they are helping seekers to develop the consciousness. Many in our group could feel them and some saw them as huge light beings. The muses are inspiring people in art, music, poetry, science, astronomy and spiritual cosmic wisdom that can be used to improve the daily life. So we meditated in this energetic cave to use all the helpful energies. Uh, inside the cave, I saw uh, a huge white light that uh, in in front of me. Like she's giving me healing, and I think that's the muse. And I uh, I feel a lot of uh, creative energy, and it's just telling me that uh, what I'm doing now is the right thing I'm doing and I should just be confident and keep doing um, what I'm doing now, keep doing what I like. And yeah, that's my um, experience in Delphi. I felt uh, there are hands uh, on my neck and healing my throat chakra. Um, when you perform uh, uh, personal healing, I feel huge amount of love sending to me. And at the end, I saw a huge feeling that was as tall as the cave. And in there, um, the energy was so loving and, and beautiful that I was finally able to release a lot of emotions that I had stored around my family members who were so loving and giving to me. And I realized that I have a really large gift to give to them as well, where um, I was touched on a very deep level. and. Uh, and I was allowing myself to feel this healing energy, basically, uh, which we created in the cave. And um, some of us saw um, a muse. I was not one of them, but it doesn't matter. It was absolutely amazing how um, how this experience was really, really meaningful for, for each of one of us. 
well, in my meditations, I feel uh, a lot of energy. Um, the, in, because we were in a loving group, and and I can feel the, that we are all connected in the in the same with the same energy. So so we focus in in this uh, in this path to create more love energy, and and I felt a lot of uh, a lot of light on my body. Uh, I also have visions about uh, my my past lives and and things like that, but it is very difficult to explain. Uh, I also release um, emotional uh, patterns and things like I have to heal. And, and that in that way I can see better with a better understanding about uh, the problem. So what I have to heal, because in the in the same in the same way I am I am in the in the society I am I am in the same cycle all the time all the time I cannot see them so this is a good opportunity to to expand the consciousness and and see what what is what I am doing wrong in another perspective and I guess that uh, I I have a, a very good uh, experience because. I felt that we are in a loving group and, and this thing is, is, is difficult to find in the society because most, most of us uh, are living in an in a individual way, very, very focused on what do you, do, you, do you want in the moment and, and without uh, looking for others. Uh, and I felt that uh, I am part of something doing this light work because I am helping and, and I am de de developing myself also. Uh, I remember when we came here, um, I, um, in the beginning where we went to Delos and Delphi, uh, I like this is in the old energetic places I, I saw and I felt all uh, the negative energies, negative thoughts maybe negative movies I saw before all these pictures and uh, um, I, I, I could be able after this experience to cleanse them so all all this negative, all the, the energy helped me to 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 let go of all these negative thoughts and and uh, after the cave I I I would be able, I could be able to just see the light and be the light. It's, now I, I feel. Uh, and then another moment was in the cave where uh, several people seen the huge light being. I mean, I didn't see it, but I felt it. It was just like, like right now. It's just like, like right now. Like, look, it's just, so that was, it was amazing. Thank you, Laya. It was beautiful trip. Beautiful. It's just perfect. Thank you. Cave. Um, what I saw when we all was meditating, it was a heart um, inside another heart with different colors, and uh, and uh, when you was you put it, your hand on me, so I I, I felt huge amount of love and light and uh, it was warm and uh, since then I now I feel um, I feel re I feel released I have no um, I feel that my pain and uh, sadness fears I feel now that I can let go of all these things and uh, and and after this experience, I um, I feel like I am a I'm a, a, 
I'm at a channel of light, I can see uh, this um, feeling that I have all my body is just uh, just a light and uh, I keep just seeing um, reminding this in my mind and I think this is what helps me to let go of, of all uh, negative energies. We are all living in a sea of energies. Thoughts, words and feelings are energy and have an impact in our life. History shows that thoughts of hate, jealousy, arrogance, ego, greed, revenge, inferiority, weakness, fear, guilt, superstition and fanatic belief systems are the cause for many wars, negative energies, diseases, disappointments, disputes and emotional pain on this planet. If we want a peaceful and free society on planet Earth, the inhabitants have to develop a consciousness of universal love and heal all character defects, heal karmic issues and traumatic experiences from this or past lifetimes, and get rid of negative programs of the Earth society, like competition thinking, ego, envies, cults, dogmatic belief systems, or hating people who are living on another part of the planet. This will make the way free to develop an awareness of love on planet Earth. Most of these negative patterns are reflecting the opinion of somebody else that people have blindly accepted as a belief system because they were programmed either since childhood to believe in them or since thousands of years out of behavior patterns. There are many of those negative limiting programs on Earth. Many believe that success comes only from struggle and suffering or the belief that they are nothing worth unless they have a paper from school or a job that proves that. Many believe that learning is difficult, and many think that they don't deserve joy, love or abundance because of social dogmas. All these negative programs from the Earth Society are coming from ignorance, fears, superstitions, belief systems, manipulations or from people who want to control others and have power over others. There are many people on Earth who are even suppressed by their own parents. Many of these negative programs have their origin in medieval times and others are thousands of years old. But the truth is that you have the right to decide for your own life. You have the right to ask yourself, for instance, why do I think that learning is difficult? Is it my own thought or is it a negative manipulation from TV, parents, dogmatic belief systems, school or other people? Why do I believe blindly in earth belief systems without personal experience and wisdom? Why do I believe that I have no control over my own life? Is it my own thought? Or is it a negative manipulation from TV, parents, religions, school or other people? Do I have my knowledge from my own experiences or do I believe blindly what others said since thousands of years? Do I program myself in order to have success and love in life? Or do I program myself to live in misery, suffering and superstition? Everybody can decide for himself if he wants to live with blogging programs or not. Everybody can decide for himself to change his reality in the now and reprogram himself with positive energies and positive thoughts that can change the personal life. Nobody has to live in the past with old limiting energies that were created from others with egoistic intentions. Nobody has to repeat old karma or negative experiences over and over again. Everybody can create new positive experiences and develop the life towards the light. Every light being or angel will give the information that everybody lives many lives on many planets with different bodies because a soul is a part of the source and therefore it is immortal. Without the understanding that we live millions of lives and not only one, it is not possible to understand life and act in tune with cosmic laws. The fact of past lives is a universal knowledge on all developed planets and has nothing to do with religions or superstitions. It is a natural part of the existence, just like stars or dimensions. Every light being or angel will give the information about cosmic principles. 
One of those principles is karma, the cosmic principle of cause and effect. Each soul has either positive or negative karma from past lives according to the past character behavior. It means that everything you do comes back, either in this present life or in another life. Karma is an education system from the cosmic awareness to help the souls to learn and evolve in the lower dimensions by learning out of mistakes and lessons and become spiritual. Karma is a fundamental principle of the existence that has an effect on everybody, whether people believe it or not and has nothing to do with religions or superstitions. The meaning of life is the development of the consciousness, the development of the heart, the mind and the character in order to become spiritual. You can change negative karma with positive karma. You create positive karma with positive actions, thoughts and talk, in other words, with cosmic love. All traumatic experiences from past lives or from this life, like wars, fears, starvation, diseases, pains, physical and mental injuries, unhealed hatred and resentment, all the suffering from past love relationships, disappointments, jealousies or disputes with other people are old blocking energies that need healing. In the modern cities of Earth today, many people have lost the feeling for the true energetic connection with nature or the cosmic awareness because they are exposed every day to the competition thinking in TV and in jobs. Many know the rational concept that nature is healthy, but only a minority had experiences and knowledge with the true energetic cause of nature's healing energy, the energy of the cosmic awareness, the energy of cosmic love. In a city there are many energies that are disturbing the sensing of natural energies. There are too many electric devices, too much air pollution, too much noise, too much crime, stress and competition thinking and too many energetic influences from negative thoughts and emotions of other people. If we are living in buildings on earth with too many people, we are exposed to many energies and vibrations from thoughts and emotions of other people and frequencies, and of many electronic devices and antennas that are influencing our auric field. In an environment like that, one needs more efforts to keep their own energy clean, powerful and healthy. The ideal situation would be if the population would live evenly scattered in nature where they can grow their own vegetarian food. It is essential to go to natural healthy places with a high vibration to cleanse the aura of the body and charge with new energy of light. Even in ancient times people were visiting those places of healing. One of these places, 2,500 years ago in Greece, was the healing center, wellness resort and oracle of Amphiarion of Oropos, 37 kilometers north of Athens. The Amphiarion was built on an energy point and served as the oracle and healing center with a sacred spring, equal in importance to the oracle of Delphi. The healing energies of this place are still there, that is why we visited this site too. It is the best known sanctuary related to the mythological seer and healer Amphiarios. Amphiarios was a disciple of Asclepius. Asclepius was the most famous healer and doctor in ancient Greece and a son of the extraterrestrial Apollo. He had many healing centers in different places in Greece, like on the island Kos or like the one in Epidavros that we visited 2011. The Amphiarion was a wellness center where people received healing from the healers in the temple and from the vortex energy of the place, and they were relaxing in a theater and restaurants. The temple had discussion rooms, bath tubes to use the water of the healing spring, and sleeping rooms. People who had personal healing problems would sleep for a few hours in the temple to get answers and visions in their dreams from higher dimensions. Later, the healers of the temple helped them to understand their dreams in order to understand the reason of their health problem and how to heal it. Some of the ancient healers are still there in etheric bodies in a higher dimension and are helping visitors to get healing energy for the body and mind. So we did here a meditation to get in tune with them and the vortex energy of the place. The energy of the group was so high that even the military noticed that on radar and sent two jet fighters to investigate the energy. In our meditation we got in touch with the healing energies and the healers who are still here, but in another frequency. 
uh, when we were doing try to connect to this uh, ancient energy, and I yeah I feel like my I receive uh, some healing from the the ancient people, maybe a healer or something. And I after that I feel like my half of my body was floating. When we were in uh, Aferian in Oropos, I felt that a light being came to each of us and giving a gift of leaf is a three three leaf in one leaves and put it at the top of our head. It means that uh, it is a win for our challenge in life, for our task in life. That must be a very uh, big present for us each. The healing center of Ampherion of Oropos for me was a very interesting experience as I was able to tap into the um, the energy of healing that people have been practicing there all along. Um, for example, in the past people went there to sleep and have their dreams interpreted. And, um, and I saw in my meditation that that's what people came there to do, and they were very um, uh, committed people to help do this. And it was uh, it was a, a matter of course, a, a matter of every day helping people without even stopping it. They were absolutely um, committed to do this, and I saw for myself that I'm on the right track that I, um, how can I put this? It was um, a very deep meditation that I experienced there and I connected to this place. And I cannot tell you the details, but for me the main message was that um, there is healing energy all, all over the place and all we need to do is just tap into it and use it. One of the life lessons is to learn to be free from limitations and inferiority thinking. Many people are limiting themselves with limiting negative thinking because they are programmed from earth society, politics and religions to act this way. Abundance is a part of the existence, it is a part of the energy called God. If you reject this part, you are rejecting the cosmic awareness too. In higher dimensions, all people are living in abundance. They have everything they want. The cosmic awareness does not tell anybody to be poor or limited. Only egoistic earth humans want to see others poor and they have used the monetary system on earth since thousands of years to enslave others and create wars. Abundance is a natural part of the existence that should be shared with others. The misuse of wealth on earth programmed many people to think that abundance is bad. But this thinking is blocking to receive abundance from the cosmic awareness because you are telling the cosmic awareness that you don't want abundance. At the moment we see that the political control system and negative people who pretend to be spiritual are slowly falling apart. And that is a result of the rising frequencies of cosmic light, the love energy of real spiritual people and the graduate awakening of earth humans. Only light is able to stay in the light. Only a high frequency can stay in a high frequency. The same will happen one day with the monetary system on earth. If we want on earth a society without money, we have to use it for spiritual and social projects until we create another reality with a higher frequency where money is not able to stay. This transformation is a process to learn about value, respect and the spiritual use of power and wealth. As long as money exists on a planet, the inhabitants should see it as a learning tool and use it for spiritual positive purposes to help everybody. 
This will create one day an advanced spiritual society without money. Simply because in a society where everybody is looking for the wellness of others and everything is shared in barter, the tool money is not needed any longer. As long as money is used for suppression or harming others, the lesson is not learned. Every planet is a school to learn different lessons. If we use wealth and abundance spiritually, we are thankful for the essence of what we are getting with it. The more gratitude you have, the more abundance and happiness you attract. The more jealousy, ego or hate you have for others, the more you are pushing yourself in misery, stagnation and a monetary system of control, because our thoughts and feelings are creating our reality. If you are happy for the success of positive people, you will attract abundance too, because that is a cosmic law of cause and effect. If you are jealous or envy because others are successful, you will block your own abundance flow because thoughts and emotions are creating our reality. That is higher science and a principle of the existence, just like gravity, frequencies or dimensions. If you use the energy called money for helping others, money will eventually disappear from earth because in a spiritual society it's not needed anymore. As long as money is used for weapons, corruption, primitive sport, business competition, ego games and fireworks, while millions are starving or have no home, there is no spiritual development on earth. When the lesson of compassion, love and group consciousness is learned, the system of money will disappear on earth and unlimited abundance will manifest, just like on higher developed planets. After the money system will fall apart, people will have the opportunity to create a new reality based on spiritual principles and free energy. There is no money in higher dimensions. Everybody is manifesting everything he wants with the power of thoughts, because the lesson is mastered already in past lives and they are using the energy of the cosmic awareness to help others. Everybody lives in service for the others and in tune with the cosmic awareness. There were many planets who had a similar society like on Earth, where a few were rich and most were poor. But when people started to grow up spiritually, they eliminated the monetary system, politics, military, religions and competition thinking. They left the crowded cities and factories with their consumption and pollution. They took their knowledge and moved to the nature to build independent villages. They were starting to live in harmony with nature again, they grew their own vegetarian food and everybody was using his talents to help others. After a period of time, they went through an energetic transformation and ascended into a higher dimension. That is a natural process that happened to many planets. This can happen on Earth too. The best energy we can use to achieve this is the frequency of real cosmic universal love. Real cosmic love is the love without ego, greed or jealousy that you send to everything. Cosmic love is powerful and unlimited. Real love frequency is the frequency of the cosmic awareness and therefore it is the solution for everything. It is the creative power of creation and manifestation that is inside of everything and everybody. But we have to use this energy consciously in our daily lives. Everybody has the possibility to connect with the unlimited power of the cosmic awareness and create an earth society of love, knowledge and joy. If enough people would use the cosmic energy of universal love, it would raise the consciousness of everybody on this planet and would amplify the life quality. Because everything in the existence is energetically connected. Everybody would be able to delete all negative mind programs and develop a consciousness of love and compassion. This would take away the power of the earth controllers who are planning war and slavery. That is why doing energy work in light work meetings is important. Charged with all the healing energies of light from the past days, we visited the next day Athens and Acropolis. This place was constructed 2500 years ago and has experienced many negative energies in the past and is still experiencing, so we came here to do light work and send our healing energy of cosmic love in order to transform the negative energies and create positive experiences for everybody. The energy of cosmic love can help people to develop the consciousness and create a society of justice, compassion, happiness and abundance if they are willing to use cosmic love in their daily life. 
With our light energy, we help many souls who were trapped here since thousands of years because of traumatic experiences. So after we've been all, we have been to all the energy places. We get all the healing and nice energy. We are actually in the city center of Athens, and we feel lots of uh, mixed kind of energy, old energies, new energies, and violence in the past. And I would like to tell uh, people if you are coming here for a holiday or uh, maybe business trip, take your time to do some healing energy here because this is a strong need to um, cleanse these old energies. In the golden, peaceful period of Athens, the healer Asclepius had a healing temple here too, next to the rock of Acropolis. The snake that he is holding is symbolizing the vortex energy movement in the existence and at the same time the human DNA structure and the knowledge how to heal it. Everything in the existence is moving in a spiral form. Here we did a meditation to get energetically in contact with the ancient healers. Some of the participants saw them in a fine meta state. I also felt a lot of energy when, when we were meditating in the Acropolis and, and I felt that, uh, that we, we, we are very, very limited in the thinking and, and there, is, there is much more, much more in the systems uh, because we cannot see, we cannot see, we think that all that we can see in, in, a, in a eyes, it is the reality and reality is more, more than that. Uh, I also have a vision that uh, in the Acropolis uh, we were, they, they were uh, healers, uh, making, making a service to others, helping and, and, to, and to realize what the, the, the problems that they have. In this Acropolis area, there's a place of Aclepios. I meditate and I found him, Asclepius. So I asked him if he can heal Mother Earth, the Earth, uh, and the ocean. And then, first, he gave me a young plant. Uh, I know in my experience that we must do the tax by ourselves. So I take the young plant and give it to Mother Earth. And then he gave me something <laughs> that I don't know. And he said that even the ocean, are, uh, there are three oceans on Earth, but it's connected to each other. So uh, there's one gift only and I was a bit confused. And then I, I give it to the ocean. Next, we visited an ancient prison next to Acropolis. The famous philosopher Socrates was executed here by the government by forcing him to drink poison because he was talking about ethics, justice, the pursuit of goodness and being free of religious belief systems and political control. Hundreds of political prisoners died here and their souls are stuck here since that times because of their trauma and their superstitions and belief systems who are blocking them to find the light. So we did our cleansing energy work and created a light vortex gate to help the souls to find the light and help them to continue with their development in the next life. When we at Acropolis, uh, in front of the Socrates prison, um, when I stay close to the prison, I I feel, felt a huge amount of sadness and sorrow. And then we used um, energy uh, with light and love, and we saw the so, I saw the soul uh, flying up to the vortex. Working on the personal inner development of the character in order to have a consciousness of cosmic love is essential and needed, no matter in what area of the society. 
When we look at the core of our being, a deep change is taking place inside. The first step is to have the inner will and the wish to work on the emotional cleansing as well as the cleaning of troublesome circumstances in our daily environment. The goal is to be free of negative energies, negative emotions and negative thoughts in order to create a positive life. We let go of people who are causing us pain and sorrow. We let go of people who want to control and suppress with fanatic dogmas. We let go of anger, stress, ego and competition. We send negative people love energy from the distance, so they can find the path of light too. In this energetic cleansing, the energy of cosmic love is touching their heart, and people let go of smoking, alcohol and self-destruction, they stop eating animal corpses, and they stop to behave evil. In this energetic cleansing, we focus on healthiness and cosmic light, and not on the things that are causing pain and illness, because thoughts and feelings are energy and are creating our reality. With that focus, we attract new people, new situations and opportunities that can assist us in reaching the goal of a loving society, because that is the universal principle of cause and effect in the existence. Mm. And during the light work, I have dreams every night, and it seems like we are doing light work in astral dimension. Uh, one night I saw you show me we are going to a healing temple. So for me this whole trip has been um, truly amazing from um, I think th the energy um, I was able to feel it so strong um, I remember watching your videos and seeing you walk around um, and placing your hands on the people. Well, I could feel you um, when you were two people over from me that the hairs were starting to stand up on my, on my arms. And that, that was truly beautiful. Um, I'm moved by the people here, the beauty, the love, the gifts that they all have. They're just so beautiful people. Um, I was also very touched by the synchronicity. Like I found everything was synchronistic between us and how everything worked out. Like it just all worked out. It was amazing my whole journey. <laughs> I couldn't get, get it anywhere else. But here, eight days, that's it. Everything that I have to learn. But uh, life is uh, keep on learning so Maybe I will come back again one day and learn something again. The, the whole trip is not something logical you can explain. It's spiritual experience. Don't use your logical brain to think of your experience. This trip has been quite amazing for me because I, um, I was fortunate enough to meet a lot of people that are like-minded and have absolutely amazing abilities um, that most of us are not wanting to share with other people because they feel they're being mocked and made fun of. What I really liked about this trip was that um, we went to particular places that are known to help others in the past. So we used this to work amongst ourselves and we um, freed the energy there, which um, helps the planet to, to raise up in frequency and hopefully wake up a lot of people that uh, are confused and don't know exactly how to continue with um, too much media and um, let's say, uh, negative uh, energies around us that uh, basically keep us um, unaware and uh, sleeping, in a sleeping stage. In light work meetings, the energy is more powerful because there are more people who are focusing on healing energy. The healing takes place on many levels and dimensions because the higher selves of the participants are working together even when the physical body is sleeping. 
the light work continues on higher dimensions or in ethereal spaceships. Our light work in Greece was a big success and we created loving energies that are helping planet Earth and the inhabitants on many levels even when most Earth humans are not aware of it at the moment. But their true self, their soul, received our energy because everything in the existence is interconnected energetically with fine matter energy. Working on the personal development of the consciousness of love is essential if you want to heal all negative structures of Earth society and live in a society of peace, freedom, solidarity and healthiness. If we want to make a positive change on a global scale on Earth, we have to focus all our energy on positive energy. Concentrate on creating positive situations. Concentrate on removing negativity. Concentrate on friendly, loving behavior to humans, animals and plants. Support loving people and not trying to discredit and insult them. This is a process that takes time and it's not done in one day. Wisdom and a higher consciousness cannot be created with a push of a button. It needs to be developed with actions of universal love and meditation. Everybody has the power to change unpleasant situations in life by connecting with the cosmic love energy of the source, light beings or spiritual extraterrestrials. The individual personal inner development will free planet Earth from wars, hate, ego, drugs, slavery and negative control forces and it will open up the contact to light beings, benevolent humans from spiritual higher developed planets and higher universal knowledge. With a higher consciousness of love, the society would be ready to use free energy that is free available in the existence and nobody would have to pay for electricity or use gas anymore. With a higher consciousness of love, all diseases could be healed and weapons would disappear. Is the Earth population ready for a higher consciousness or do they want to stay on old paths of hate, ego, wars and suffering? Is the Earth population ready to be part of the benevolent star nations in the universe or do they prefer to stay in negativity and be manipulated by negative forces? Each planetary civilization has the free will and the own responsibility upon their own development. Let us send to everybody cosmic love energy and let them feel it in their heart. Because the meaning of life is to have cosmic love in their heart and consciousness. Cosmic love is the base of wisdom, intelligence and happiness. Cosmic love is the energy of the cosmic awareness. Cosmic love is the cure for a negative environment. Cosmic love is the solution for everything. Cosmic love is the most needed energy on planet Earth. Activating peace and cosmic love in the heart is the meaning of life. 
This 3 CD audio set with etherical music, meditations and affirmations contains sound frequencies of cosmic love that I received from the Pleiadian star system in the higher dimensions of light. They can help to charge, cleanse, harmonize and expand the consciousness and can help everybody who wishes to let go of negative behavior and negative programs and vices in order to improve healthiness. These frequencies can help to awaken the universal cosmic love in the heart in order to be in tune with the cosmic awareness, in tune with the source, in tune with cosmic love. Cosmic love is the solution for everything because it is the energy of the source. Cosmic love can heal the earth society in all levels, in all areas, in all fields, at all problems, if everybody on this planet would use it every day. Only with cosmic love we can free planet earth from negative situations and create real peace, harmony, healthiness, wealth and joy for everybody.